today students welcome in this youtube channel let's do this question and this question is from class 10 chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry okay so the question is trigonometric ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree so we need to find out the values of all the t ratios at 30 degree and 60 degree geometrically so let's see what is the geometrical proof of these all trigonometric ratios at 30 degree and 60 degree तो इसमें सबसे पहले हमने एक इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल ड्रॉ करनी है सो लेट्स ड्रॉ एन इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल सो सपोज दिस इज एन इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल सो यू नो इन इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल ऑल एंगल्स आर 60 डिग्री दैट वी नो राइट दिस एंगल इज आल्सो 60 दिस एंगल इज आल्सो 60 सो सपोज दिस इज ए बी सी ट्रायंगल एंड नाउ ऑल द साइड्स विल आल्सो बी इक्वल सपोज ईच साइड इज ए यूनिट ए यूनिट ए यूनिट दिस इज आल्सो ए यूनिट right so what we do now we'll draw here perpendicular from a on bc so we will draw a perpendicular from a on bc suppose this is perpendicular ad is perpendicular from a to uh, bc so now you can see these two triangles are congruent see abd abd triangle and acd triangle will be congruent how see this angle this angle 60 degree okay so this angle this angle 90 degree right and this is common side it is common for both the triangles so angle angle side you can apply okay so by angle angle side these two triangles are congruent and if these two triangles are congruent then this angle and this angle will also be congruent so total angle is 60 degree so these two angles will be 30 degree and 30 degree right these all both will be 30 degree 30 degree by cpct corresponding parts of congruent angles are equal so now what we do if it is a right so bc is also a bc is also a because this is also the side of equilateral triangle so bd is equal to cd because by cpct these two triangles are congruent then by cpct corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal so bd is equal to cd so if full bc is a then bd will be half of a that is a over 2 and CD is also A over 2 unit. Okay. So if you see in right angle triangle ADB, we will find out the value of AD by Pythagoras theorem. We have AB that is A unit. We have BD that is A over 2 unit. We can find out the value of AD by Pythagoras theorem. If we get the value of AD, then in this right angle triangle ADB, we can find out any t ratio at 30 degree also we can find out and at 60 degree also we can find out so again i repeat one time what we do first of all take a equilateral triangle we have taken so ab iska har side jo hai wo a unit maan lo a unit a unit a unit because each angle uh, each side of a equilateral triangle is equal okay ab kya karna hai ek perpendicular drop karna hai a se so ad is perpendicular on bc now these two triangles are congruent a b d and a b a, C, D are congruent by A, A, S, C, A, 60, 60, 90, 90. So common side. So angle, angle side, these two triangles are congruent. So hence these two angles will also be equal by C, P, C, T. So full angle is 60. So this is 30, 30, right? Now this full side B, C is A unit. So B, D is equal to C, D by C, P, C, T. So each side will be A by 2, A by 2. Now in right angle triangle A, D, B, we have two uh, sides units with us. A, B is A unit. BD is A by 2 unit. We can find out AD by uh, Pythagoras theorem. If this will come with, by Pythagoras theorem, then we can find out any T ratios afterward of 30 degree also, of 60 degree also. And we can prove these geometrically. So let's write all these, what is given and what is to be constructed. So it is written that, let in figure triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is 60 degree each and sides will also be equal because it is equilateral triangle so let each side is a unit now draw ad perpendicular on bc now in triangle abd and triangle acd angle b is equal to angle c because 60 degree each angle adb is equal to angle adc because 90 degree each and ad is equal to ad which is common side so by angle angle side criteria these two triangles are congruent hence these two angles will also be equal by cpct corresponding parts of the congruent triangle so each angle will be 60 over 2 60 over 2 means 30 degree right 
So now in right angle triangle ADB, we can apply Pythagoras theorem to find length AD. Now you can see that if BC is A unit, then BD and CD will also be equal by CPCT. So each length will be A by 2 and A by 2. Now in ADB, we will apply Pythagoras theorem. So AD square plus BD square is equal to hypotenuse that is AB square. So AD square we have to find out then it is equal to AB square minus BD square. So you can fill the values. AD square is equal to now AB is A that is A square minus BD is A over 2. So A over 2 square. So it becomes A square minus A over 2 square is A square over 4. So you can take here LCM 4. So it becomes 4A square minus A square. It becomes 3A square over 4. So AD square is 3A square over 4 and AD will be root of 3 is square root of 3 only and uh, square root of a square is a square root of 4 is 2 so it is root 3 by 2 a so you can write ad as root 3 by 2 a right so now let's find out these all trigonometric ratios at 30 degree and 60 degree so sine 30 so we know sine theta is p over h so for 30 degree angle perpendicular is bd so BD over AB. So it will be BD over AB. So BD is A over 2. So A over 2 over A. So this A will come here. So A, A cancel 1 by 2. So sine 30 is proved as 1 by 2. So let's see about cos 30. So cos is base over hypotenuse. So base is A over 2. Right. Over hypotenuse that is A. So cancel. So it is also 1 by 2 right no it is uh, sorry base is under root 3 by 2 a for 30 degree base is a d right so it is under root 3 a over 2 over h that is a so a a cancel so it becomes a root 3 over 2 so cos 30 is root 3 over 2 now tan 30 tan 30 is perpendicular over base so perpendicular is bd so BD that is A over 2 over base base is AD that is under root 3 A over 2 2 will come up so 2 2 cancel A, A cancel so tan 30 is 1 by root 3 now cot 30 you can say reciprocal of tan 30 from here only you can find out otherwise you can go from here also so let's see from here only this is reciprocal of tan that will be under root 3 and now secant is reciprocal of cos 30 so it will be 2 over root 3 it will come only and cosecant 30 is reciprocal of sine 30 that is 2 will come right this way we will solve this and then let's come to the 60 degree angles so sine 60 so this is 60 degree angle right so for 60 degree this is base this is perpendicular so p over h so this is p now this is h so it is under root 3 a over 2 this is p over h h is a so it is sine 60 is root 3 by 2 now cos 60 cos 60 is base over perpend base over hypotenuse the so base is a over 2 over hypotenuse that is a so cos 60 is 1 by 2 tan 60 so tan is p over b so p is here root 3 by uh, root 3 a over 2 and base is a by 2 so a and 2 will go up so a a cancel 2 2 cancel so sine uh, sorry tan 60 is a root 3 so cot is reciprocal of tan 60 so you can write 1 by root 3 reciprocal of cos 60 is secant 60 so 1 by 2 reciprocal is 2 and cos secant 60 is reciprocal of uh, that uh, sin 60 so it is 2 by root 3 so this way we will find these all t ratios at 30 degree and 60 degree geometrically so thanks for watching